today we will see as a part of load shedding scheme the load rejection sudden load rejection and sudden load addition scenarios two different scenarios where in one of the cases i will show what will be the impact of the sudden load rejection from a normal operating condition system and another case scenario will be considered based on the sudden load addition in this system so this is a system the same system i have taken here total 16 mba loads are connected each lump load is considered as 4 mba so total 4 into 4 total 16 mba loads are connected in this system so now if we want to check the load flow analysis here this grid is also connected so this is the total power this is the total power is flowing in this system let's jump into this transient stability case study here here what we will do we will we will reject some of the loads from here let's reject these uh, first three loads from the 16 mba loads we are going to set these 12 mba loads suddenly then what will happen and obviously we will if there is any fault in this grid at t equals to one second that time circuit breaker grid side circuit breaker that will open cb31 that will open what i have done this at t equals to one second this circuit breaker from this grid that will open and only the generator will be available and at the same time we are going to we are going to add another event the load rejection let's say load load rejection scenario at the same one second time so in that case we are going to set these these three loads so cb 33 34 and 35 33 34 and cv 36 33 34 35 so these three breakers will be opened let's perform that transient stability study so at t equals to 0 Pass voltage is 96.47 percentage and frequency is 50 hertz grid is available and generator is also available at t equals to one second the grid is out and here as you can see these three circuit breakers are opened that means 12 mba loads are out of service means these 12 mba loads are not connected disconnected and only 4 mba load is there after this you, you can notice this frequency previously it was 50 hertz so it is 50 hertz then 50.5 then 51.5 52.5 so it is increasing also let's plot this bus frequency so at t equals to 1 t equals to 1 second 12 mba loads are disconnected so that's why when the loads are disconnected means load rejection is there frequency will definitely increase and it is increasing it is increasing and it is going up to almost 105 uh, percentage 105 percentage 105 percentage but this frequency this this frequency this is over frequency this is over frequency so if we limit that 
maybe the setting is plus minus two percent frequency variation is acceptable so if it is plus minus two percentage that means plus minus two percentage sorry uh, let's say plus minus plus minus four percent is, is the acceptable limit so, so that means two hertz two hertz is acceptable but here you can see this is one or five percentage so if that specification specifies that the frequency limit is plus minus five percentage so this over frequency up to 105 percentage that is acceptable but let's say if we if we set the balance load also load load rejection i don't know why why it is not taking sorry yeah so let's add this so i'm facing some system issues yeah so let's go to the event here load rejection so only three breakers let's remove the balance load also cb36 let's open that breaker also and perform the transient stability study here the bus frequency if you see now the bus frequency so it is going crazy you see so definitely the system the system is gone so this is not acceptable anyway because the frequency is going uh, rising 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 so this is not acceptable definitely so we cannot set we cannot set all the 16 mva loads at the same time when grid is not there and now this generator is connected so we cannot set we cannot set all these 16 mba loads let's say all these loads are disconnected and the generator is running so in that situation the generator will trip definitely due to over frequency delay operation right let's say let's say only maybe two loads load rejection so i am deleting this one this one also only 33 and 34 will be open means only 8 mva loads will be shaded so let's check the scenario now so if you see the frequency frequency variation plus 102.2 percentage because only 8 MVA loads only 8 MVA loads are disconnected so this is within the limit so in this way you can check how much how much loads can be shaded at a time how much loads can be shaded at a time this can be checked okay so now we will see the impact of load addition sudden load addition if there is any sudden load addition that means frequency will drop so what will happen we will see next so now let's check what will be the impact of what will be the impact of sudden load addition sudden load addition for that for that what we will do normally the loads are open normally the loads are disconnected and we will create the event just to add just to add the loads how to do that how to do that let's add the event here load addition load addition at t equals to one second and what what the loads will be added cv cv33 sorry not opened cv33 will be closed cv33 will be closed also cv34 will be closed maybe another load we can take 
CV35 also will come into the picture. We're done. So at t equals to one second, these three loads will be connected suddenly. Let's perform. Yeah. So now at t equals to t equals to zero, the gener generator bus voltage is 100.2 percent is frequency is 50 hertz, and these all the loads are disconnected. These loads are not connected here. Okay. Now at t equals to one second, let's check. These first three loads are connected. These 12, 12 MVA loads are connected now, but this 4 MVA load is not there, and the grid power supply is not there. Frequency is 50 hertz, but the, but the bus voltage drops to 82.8 percent. Now the frequency is dropping. Yeah. So let's plot the frequency, bus frequency. Yeah. So at t equals to t equals to one second grid supply is not available and we are adding we are adding 12 mb loads we are adding 12 mb loads so the frequency is dropping because the loads are connected suddenly loads are connected with the bus so the frequency starts dropping 98% Ninety-seven point nine percent is, and after that it is rising. It is rising again. So the minimum frequency is ninety-seven point nine percent. So if that, if if this is the acceptable limit, means if it is plus minus five percent, plus minus five percent is, uh, means frequency is acceptable as per the project requirement. That means this is also acceptable. So we can add twelve MBA loads suddenly. So frequency drop will be minimum this 97.9 let's add this load also we will add another loads load addition so 36 cv 36 let's close this also at the same time t equals to one second let's see what will happen So frequency is 50 hertz at t equals to one second frequency drops to 49.9 the bus voltage drops to 80 percent now frequency is also dropping let's check the graph yeah so it is 100 percent at t equals to t equals to one second t equals to one second all the loads are connected so frequency is dropping frequency is dropping means the system is gone system is gone system already collapsed so what is the conclusion conclusion is we cannot add we cannot add all the 16 MBA loads suddenly at the same time with this system because grid is not there grid is not connected and only the generator is there so suddenly we cannot add 16 MBA loads in this system right if the grid is there what will happen means from this event if we clear this so we are connecting all the loads at t equals to one second but the grid will be available let's see what will happen check the bus frequency so what we can see at equals to one second 
16 MBA loads are connected with the bus. So the minimum frequency is 99.8 percent is 99.8 percent is and here maximum limit is 100.1 percent there is no issue because we are adding we are adding the loads that means we need to check this minimum frequency so it is 99.8 percent and after that it is it is 100 percent frequency that that means the system is stable so if that is if the grid is available grid is connected whenever we are adding sudden sudden loads that means there is no issue but if the grid is not there in case of any fault in this transmission line or maybe in in between this uh, grid or this generator terminal uh, this transformer terminal so in that case grid is not available at that time only the generator is available and during that time we cannot add suddenly huge amount of load so there is a limitation there is a limitation but the, if the grid is available there is no issue because what we can see from this frequency plot what we can see the system is stable the minimum frequency is also within limit maximum frequency is also within limit and after certain time the free, the system is stable the stability is there in the system so in this video up to this